Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. annoying. Let's go. So a bunch of dead Suicidal Marines. Marines. Suicidal. There, yeah. Go live. It's good. It's perfect. It's good. Great. Oh Grand. God. Everybody on the bus. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I have Let's no go. idea how Make much time we spent on that round. Peens. Peens. Well, I, liked it I liked it when we could uh, uh, outsource it. Well, you have to remember to outsource it. You have to. What do I have to remember to do everything? When you post it up, you should say, "Hey, we're going live later. Give me some Give rhymes." Me your fucking rhymes. Do it correctly. Don't do it like in a joke way. Give yeah. me the rhymes from the last episode. From this episode you're listening to right now, send it to me. Uh, put it on YouTube at youtube.com yeah. slash you biggest problem. Yeah. Not the you biggest problem. Just biggest problem. There's so many moving parts, but the rhyme is crucial. The rhyme I need. The rhyme it takes us 10 minutes. Take, it did take a long time to get to a rhyme. We got it now. We got it! Ugh, and then someone fucking immediately nails it on there. God damn, you jackass. You fucking jerk. Biggest problem bonus episode is up right now. Do we, are we going to spoil the theme? I'm all fucked up. because we Well, it's not up it. right now. It'll be up if you're listening to this after it's been posted on Patreon. It's up right now. Biggest, Patreon.com slash sure. biggest problem. Fine. It's or up do, right now. You've got to give money. <laughs> and then you'll see it. You'll see biggest a loading problem page. problem in fast food. Supersize. The supersize edition, edition of Woo! Biggest Problem in the Universe. Now available at Patreon.com slash biggest problem. Let's do it. Let's do it. You are late and gay, pneumatic artist. Big ass. Give us super chats. Give us fucking super chats. Give us fucking super chats. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that makes every problem in the universe from annoying teens to suicidal marines. Whoa. I'm your host, Dick Masters, and joining me as always is Vito Giswaldi. Wow, what a dynamite bonus episode we just did. I think it's one of our best. The biggest problem, super size edition. And the best part about the new, the new biggest problem uh, bonus episode is we don't give you one, two, three, four problems. We went above and beyond. I think we eight. had like eight <laughs> problems because uh, biggest problem in fast food. Everyone got too amped up. Well, we've been discussing this. A lot of people give me shit. They go, Vito, you bring too many food problems because I yeah. have so many of them. Yeah. And this was my chance to get so many of them out on the table. But I think you at home also have a ton of fast food problems because, Dick, you posted on Twitter. Yeah. What are your fast food problems? We got like hundreds of responses. Yeah, but there, we also need to mix it up with like problems about women and stuff. Well, if we do a bonus, if we can't like, do a bonus problem about women. That would just break the. There was no problem. That's like a Seinfeld thing. Like you need like food problems. You need women problems. <laughs> you know, like, Is that how you break up a, a good yeah. Seinfeld episode or a season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah okay, yeah. so you're all sweaty. I'm all excited for the show. I'm all amped <laughs> up. Big energy. Theater kids. Theater kids takes it home. Wow. I'm surprised. I am also surprised. Big winner. For me. Probably get the voting's rigged, I think. I don't know if that's what it is. I know we set up some sort of grid to make it on the up and up, but it seems like uh everybody hates theater kids. I, I think I, I think everybody yeah, I think everybody has encountered theater kids. I think they know that they're terrible. I think they know that they're responsible for a lot of the problems in the world, making bad because they go on to make bad TV, make bad o online entertainment. Yeah, yeah. All of TikTok is theater kids being validated for the first time in their lives, and frankly, it's destroying society. Huh. They finally have an outlet to just be stupid and go, look, me and all my friends did a challenge and I'm going to eat a spicy corn chip and oh, look, we're covered in balloons. It's disgusting. How about you eat a spicy punch right in your face? Yes. How about that? Complete lack of talent. Just being loud and wacky for attention. On I never internet. even thought of how bad theater kids were. I guess I just thought like, oh, they're, those people are kind of annoying over there, but I didn't know they were all ex theater kids. They're tanking over, man. Uh, drunk eating, very low compared to theater kids. Well, I still don't think that's a problem. I still contend that drunk eating is great. Okay, now I see what the issue was with drunk eating. Yeah. Uh, military suicides, very low. Comically low. Comically, Comically low. low. Maybe Al-Qaeda was I voting. feel like it was almost negative. I was like, ah, let those motherfuckers kill themselves. No, not the horn. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> what do you suppose it is? I had a couple people leave comments that the horn apparently had them in stitches. But they found it very comical that as I talk about the very serious issue of military suicides, yeah. that there is a sad horn playing for some reason. Don't you think at some point it's just like, give me a break. 
Like, okay. I still think it's a serious You're problem. You're in the fucking military. Thanks for fucking whatever that was. I in support Afghanistan. all our boys and whatever and in Afghanistan. Gyms and gyms. Yeah. And, and dongs I don't kill and yourself. Shlongs. And if you do kill yourself, please get it on video so I have something to watch don't when ki- I'm bored. Don't kill yourself. There's another war right around the corner. I mean, there is. Go it's to coming. Ukraine. And make sure nobody steals Zelensky's money. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Well, Sell that's that what we're cash doing. cash over there. Was that all the problems? Was there one more? The war on whiteface. The war on that's whiteface it. was terrible. Terrible problem. Meanwhile, war on blackface. Killing it. Feels like you tried to steal my thunder and failed miserably. Racist. Um, yeah, Steven be. says, classic Vito kicked the can down the road. Future Vito will figure out how to lose weight. Present Vito's life is too hard. It is. Uh, Martin says, excuse finders, my back hurts. I've got too oh much my going God, on. I can't this. cycle it. Every, is every show going to be Vito is a fat and easily? I know. Look, I have a plan. It's coming together. I'm not going to make excuses. I'll just <laughs> let you. I have a plan. Somebody with the account name deleted posted all of your excuses. I know. Do you want to? I, Go I nuts. It. Go nuts. This is all the excuses you gave why you couldn't lose weight. They're all weight. basically the same excuse, but sure. No, that's what makes it so interesting is that they're <laughs> not the same excuse. So he clipped out just your excuses when I was trying to get you to lose weight last week. Okay. Uh, my back hurts, just sucks normally, so I'm out. So I'm going to get these Amazon packages tomorrow. I know I have to lose weight. I don't know when I'm going to start. Well, I had a plan, but I don't have room in my apartment. I have an exercise bike, but I can't use it because there's nowhere to put it. I don't have room because everything is in boxes and it's a nightmare. But then I'd have to go buy a bike. It would probably collapse beneath my fucking weight. I'm trying, but I'll throw my fucking back out or something stupid happens. Well, I can't ride it right now. I'm trying to walk a little bit every day. I don't know where I have to walk to. I have a plan. Here's the problem with losing weight. I can only do something if I focus on it intensely. That's just my thing. I will forget to do push-ups. If I need to do weight loss, it has to be one of the two things going on in my life right now, and I have 50 things going on. I'll give you the good bike if I can fit it in my car. Every day, I'm not going to ride it <laughs> twice a day. Then I don't have to give me the bike. It's too much. I will ride a bike once every day if I don't do something else. I don't want it to come up with an exercise plan right now. I'll figure it out later. Dick, my life is completely falling apart. Long stop story about being depressed, all to gamer sim- garnered sympathy, and all which would be alleviated by exercise and healthy eating. I was thinking of monitorizing my weight loss, making it a fun thing. I'm not refusing to work out. I'm trying to do a thing and it sucks. <laughs> Vote up fat brain, the guy said. What well, do you think about all that? I uh, I think I've got a plan. The plan has steps and one of the steps is that my back is thankfully getting better. So hopefully I will be able to. How was your back at Disneyland? It was not good. <laughs> and I did. Somebody said that th- somebody uh, emailed me uh, and they said I saw I just saw Vito riding a scooter around at okay. Disneyland and I said no way. But if <laughs> grab a picture of it, please tell me he didn't actually get a picture. No, he didn't. Look, I did not want to use a scooter, but I literally could not walk more than like ten minutes at a time. My back was completely fucked, and I had these Disneyland tickets that were going to expire, and I had already promised a friend I would go. A so- lady. A lady. Oh. Well, no, it's oh. she's married. It's a friend, whatever. Oh, that means nothing to me. Regardless, I uh, it's like fifty dollars to rent a scooter for the day, and I did walk for most of the day, but like you know, just when I needed to sit, I had a scooter, and it was embarrassing what do you mean you and horrible. Most of the day, and you had a scooter to sit. What did you walk next to the scooter? Well, I'm just no. I mean, like <laughs> you park the scooter in a part of the park. Like you get to the part of the park you're gonna like hang out in. And then you park the scooter and you walk around that part of the park. Like where? Like Star Wars Land. I went to Star okay. Wars Land. And you park the scooter? Yeah, and I park the scooter. And you walk. And then around. I get up and I walk around a bit. And then for once ten my, minutes for nine minutes and fifty nine seconds. And then once seconds. my back hurts, I fucking sit in a chair or something. i I threw out my back. Okay, I did not want to be in a scooter. Yes, it's humiliating to be the fat guy in the scooter. Not it was enough. The, the lowest po- Well, I wasn't gonna throw out the Disney tickets. Somebody gifted them to me. I would have felt like shit if I didn't use them. So I went and I went on a couple rides and I had some fun. Okay. And yes, I rode a scooter around, and thank God nobody got a picture of it, because I would be endlessly I'm humiliated. pissed at this guy who rode in for not getting a picture. That's <laughs> that's even worse than being wore, in the fucking I scooter. I should disguise, honestly. Hey, Dick, I just saw Vito on a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much I would I want pictures of Spider of Vito Man. Oh my god. If they, if somebody got a picture of me riding that like literally the lowest point in my life is riding a fat scooter around Disneyland. I'm not proud I of thought, it. I thought it was a back scooter. Well it was a back scooter, but come on. I mean everybody looks at you and they go, he's probably got it because he's a big fat guy. You know, that's the assumption. <laughs> yeah. And uh it's up. 
Um, it's truly horrible. So, uh, what did the girl say? She was also using a scooter that day. So. <laughs> like, I'm not getting into that. All right. Yeah, dueling scooters. We had dueling scooters. We raced them. It was fun. Was not a big. It was not a big deal. <laughs> what am I talking about here? She's she's a she's a big lady. Okay. And you are also a big lady. You're right. She's she's yeah. bigger than me though. So. Okay. She also she has you know what look some people actually need them she needs one she has, you don't need it I don't need it she has like chronic you all know, those excuses pain. that I just she, read yes yes okay all right well um, let me I see had what fun else I, I went to the I went to all the shitty attractions because I couldn't stand in lines long enough so I went to the Tiki Room and I saw Abraham Lincoln's animatronic show and oh did you really yeah I love all the shitty Disneyland attractions they're yeah. fun yeah I love I love just animatronic Lincoln telling me like. You might as well commit suicide if you won't fight for our country. I'm like, yeah, tell him, Lincoln. I didn't know that. I, I saw that in The Simpsons. I didn't know that existed. The animatronic well. Lincoln? Yeah. yeah. Well, in Disney World, they have the whole Hall of Presidents. Here in Disneyland, you only get Lincoln. They don't have Trump? No, they don't have Trump. Where Just can I Lincoln. see animatronic Trump? In Disney World. Really? Yeah. <sighs> You've never seen the video of animatronic Trump? No. I mean, he's in the back right now, but whoever the current president is, if you go to the Hall of Presidents, whoever the current president is gives the, like, main part of the speech or whatever nice so obama did it for a while mm, bad and then it was animatronic trump and now nice. I th they have animatronic biden do mm -hmm. it and trump just stands in the background and looks disapprovingly at robot biden uh okay chez cheese says i gotta stop listening to this show at the gym when dick played the horn on military suicide i almost dropped a very heavy barbell on my neck well good show uh, Wartooth says, I'll have you know my grandfather died in a concentration camp. He got drunk and fell out of a guard tower. Oh, he was a guard. No, a guard took him up. He was a prisoner, and a guard took him up there. Oh, he was a Jew. Uh, no, he was a, in prison because he was a guard who disobeyed orders. Oh, so he was a and guard. The, and the orders were <laughs> to be more cruel to the prisoners. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wait, so he was a good guard. He was trying to be nice to the Jews. But he disobeyed, he it, on, disobeyed. He disobeyed it on accident because he was drunk. Right, because he was drunk. That's the best part. So what do you think about that? Fantastic. Peter? The Keffels drama is our World War II. The nicknames are just a little di different. E-Love says, uh, this time around for troops, stuff like porn flakes, masturbator. I think it's like JFK getting shot. What did I say? That was something else. <laughs> you keep saying that this is our All generation's right. JFK getting shot. I also want to mention a couple comments because Dick was negging last week's stinger. A couple comments came in and said, I, I knocked it out of the park, and thank you very much. Speaking okay. of stingers, Dick, I have an exciting uh, segment I call Vote It Up. Well, we got crazy liberal women cutting off their breasts, inflation pedophiles in the IRS. We got mad. Cut and Visa put us on our knees Well, LeBron apologizes to the dirty Chinese But there's only one podcast that's a take and a stand Restoring sanity across this beautiful land Go vote! Vote! Vote it up! Vote! Don't be a cock! Vote! I'll fuck you up! Vote! I'll cut your damn throat if you don't vote A biggest problem that you I'll cut your tits yeah. right off! Vote it up, know, folks. I know what that one's from. You know that one? That was yeah, Johnny yeah. B. Good. What a song. Vote it up, folks. Well, this is, of course, the segment where we revisit past problems. To remind you that you can at any time go to biggestproblem.show, hit up the big list of problems, vote them up or down as you decide, and as you obtain new information that maybe will color your perception of those problems. One problem we had previously, I believe this was one of yours, Dick, was hate hoaxes. Was that you? Yeah. Hate hoax is a big problem. Well, Brigham Young University has found no evidence that a racial slur was yelled at Duke volleyball player, player Rachel Richardson, despite all the recent media outcry. Did you hear about this story? No. What, what racial epithet did they? I believe it was some black epithet. Of course, they never tell you specifically what it was. We can assume it was some sort of That's the only reason I'm clicking slur. on the link. 
There was a lot of uh, press from CNN, ESPN, NPR, ABC, NBC, and the New York Times who all reported that slurs were leveled at the player Rachel Richardson, yet no evidence has been found to corroborate her claims. Brigham Young University interviewed 50 eyewitnesses and reviewed uh, security and raw footage from all camera angles taken of the match. Yet again, there is no evidence that any racial slurs were actually uttered at this play. Oh, she spread it? Well, she's then saying... she's lying about it? She's a that fu- black player. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> she says that the opposing team, or uh, I believe in the stands, were yelling racial epithets at her. And oh there is just Grow no... Up. We have found no evidence Get to fucked. corroborate you. those claims. Now, now, well, now they're going to say it. Well, maybe, FYI. maybe they said it and it just wasn't picked up or heard by the 50 people around her. We don't know. Oh, man, that would be my power. Superpower. He can say the secret slurs that only one person can hear. It doesn't appear or any sort of slur <laughs> you want, and it doesn't appear. You can't record it. <laughs> right? Yeah, that would be a great <laughs> one. Of the, Wait, I distinctly heard. I heard him say it. Well, say. let's pull up the tape. <laughs> what if it was like uh, a famous Superman power that got re- replaced was his super ventriloquism, where oh, he yeah, could project yeah, yeah. his voice? What if you could convince people that they heard a slur from someone else? Yeah, you could create such chaos. No, because I want the you attention. Know, did Biden just call me the N word? My, you want the attention? Yeah, I want it to be like me saying like, "Oh yeah, you," and then they're like, "Did you just?" I know you just said that. <laughs> what the but fuck? No one else heard did you. Get, did you get did that? Did anyone Play else? That back. <laughs> he said it, and then on and then on the video, it's just like me going, silent slurs, silent but deadly, undetectable. Well, another problem I think you brought in was women banging psychopaths. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a great story. A chopped up body was found stuffed inside two suitcases in a Brooklyn apartment Wednesday, oh. believing to belong to an abused 22 year old woman named Dacia Johnson, whose oh. remains were found in a grisly scene of splattered blood alongside a meat cleaver. <laughs> now, on Wednesday, security guards knocked it, on the door. Does, it, any, does it set off any like alarms if your boyfriend's coming home with a meat? Cle- like, I don't have a meat cleaver. <laughs> Maybe it was her meat cleaver that he. I, I, she, women don't normally have meat cleavers. You're right. Yeah, that's an odd thing for anyone to have. I think that he might have brought the meat cleaver in after the fact because on Wednesday, security guards knocked on the door of this woman's apartment to perform a welfare check. But when they tried to get into the apartment, the woman's boyfriend and another man refused to let them in. Okay. When they went to call the cops, the two men made their getaway, lugging a duffel bag, leaving behind the two suitcases of body parts. full of body parts. Wow. Isn't that the worst? You know, you got a plan, you're cutting up the body, everything's all set, and then some nosy security guard comes along and blows the whole thing. How would you get rid of a body? Uh, you I get- would bake a big cake. Mm, I don't think that's the best. Uh, Wait, did South Park do that? Cake? No, 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 no. Like a big a, cake, and you throw the the body in there. Like, make a no. chili. No, 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 no. Like a like a birthday cake for somebody. Okay, a large birthday cake. And then, because people try to Full hide it in duffel bags, right? Well, no, like a hollow birthday cake, like a stripper's gonna come out, and you put her in there. And you're like, oh, here we go. And the, the whole like, body, or are you cutting up the body? Either way. Just okay, but it's gonna smell there. like meat. You're gonna have a bunch of human parts in there. Hmm. It would make more sense to make a chili or, or a meat pie. You made you a large body? meat pie. Well, that would make more sense. That you're already cooking something if you're making a cake. What about Lucite? I see on Reddit people are putting, like, Twinkies in Lucite. I don't think that's a good plan at all. No, you put, like, the bathtub and you just put the body in there and then Lucite it. You're supposed to cut up the body into pieces. There's certain pieces that you can dissolve like the wind in lye and acid. Yeah. Uh, the problem is the bones. You're going to have to take the bones and uh, drive them out to the woods and bury them deep. Hmm. But all the flesh you can just I strip feel like, off. Like, I feel like I want like a to tr- like a fantasy camp of getting rid of a body. Okay. I feel like it's not that. It, it cannot be that hard. Well, it's, it's just that usually you're all upset and afraid. Like if somebody came in and- Or said, you're lazy, like that guy who uh, used to call into Carl's podcast and ended up killing his girlfriend. Yeah. He just left her to decay in his basement for eight months, and eventually your neighbors go, some smells. It's the smell is the problem. Hmm. A body starts to stink pretty quick. Okay. So uh, if you're in a crowded apartment, you got you to gotta really move on the dismembering. You got to do it all in like a couple hours. You can't go, oh, I'll chop her up, like half of her up and then cut. No, yeah. go do the whole thing all the way through. Okay. St- power through, as we say. I can't promise it'll get to it today. 
Okay. Now that you're describing it, like well, that. I uh, I think you got it. <laughs> you lazy Mexicans, that's your biggest problem. And my biggest problem, Dick, is attention spans. Well, oh, that wait, that was the end of your. Uh, yeah, that was the end of my bit. bit. You okay, want to play the? On. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got crazy liberal women cutting off their breasts. Inflation pedophiles in the giant IRS. Breasts. We got master cut and visa put us on our knees. Well, LeBron apologizes to the dirty Chinese. But there's only one podcast that's a take and a stand, restoring sanity across this beautiful land. Go vote, vote, vote it up, vote. What about just burying Don't the body? Don't be a cock, vote. No, they, I'll fuck you up, it. vote. I'll cut your damn throat if you don't Votes vote. The biggest problem that show. Yeah, if you, yeah. If you wrap it up and. What if I just take it out on a plane and throw it out, throw it out like? <laughs> I don't know what happened to that guy. <laughs> Just fell out of the out of a plane. I think my biggest the thing is always like, how do you get out of the country? That's what you really want to do. Just drive to Mexico. Yeah, you can go over the border. Yeah. Uh, but you want to get so you want to get into another part of South America. You don't want to stay in uh, Mexico. Oh, why? Uh, just because. What do you call it? I mean, if they're looking for you, I mean, they know everybody goes to Mexico, so you got to keep going south. Just put on a mustache. Mm, you could get away with that. I couldn't <laughs> get away with that. <laughs> Dick, the biggest problem in the world or universe? Oh God, got the name of the show wrong. It's a faux pas. The biggest problem in the universe, Dick, is diminished attention spans. Oh, okay. I don't know about you, but I've been finding What's it. What's the next problem? Get it? That's a good joke. <laughs> Thank that was you. Really good. I don't know how anyone sits through this podcast <laughs> with the attention spans we have today. Dick, I don't know if you've noticed. It's harder and harder to focus on things. Feel like technology is contributing to yeah. making my attention span shorter and uh, more faulty. I can't, I, I want to watch TV, I want to play video games, whatever else, and I always, what, what do you, should I look at my phone? Should yeah. I check my thing? Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Feels like a disease. Yeah. Sickening. I need two things at least. Like oh, something God. on TV and the computer and then the phone, The maybe. thought of playing a video game without like, you know, like some TV going on in the background or something. It's, yeah. It's weird to me. Yeah. What is this about? Well, it is true that attention spans are diminishing. And they're doing so at a rapid pace. I have a number of studies here. Researchers in Canada surveyed 2,000 participants studying the brain activity of 112 other people using EEGs. I don't know why. So 2,000 plus 112. What a number. Uh, the average attention span has dropped since the year 2000. Okay. The, the average attention span was 12 seconds. It is now 8 seconds. That's how quick we want to... The, the average attention span was only 12 seconds? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what does that mean? That already seems bad. Well, you can like lock into like a TV, like a movie or like a baseball game or I something. I assume that that's like how long you go before your brain plants like the suggestion to... of, is there something else I could be doing? Is there something else I could be looking no, at? I don't feel so bad. 12 to 8. 12 I mean, to that's... 8 seems reasonable to you? That's a yeah. massive percentage. I could bump it back up to twelve, though. I like, would that like seems to bump it back like, up to twelve. I would like. I thought for it'd that be like four happen. minutes down to like twelve seconds or something like that. I don't know. It's it's scary to me. That's a that's a huge drop in percentage wise. I want yeah. I want a, I want a minute long attention span. Uh, one one way to track attention span is just the uh, information. How long trends last, right? And just okay. in the popular media. <clears throat> for instance, in twenty thirteen. You know how things will be trending on Twitter? Well, like the big boob shop lady. Sure. Like this is this is the last day you can talk about that. That's right. And that and one has managed done. to last at least a week. I want. That's like a big that's like a big one. The tits are so big. I know. That was a all these right wing guys like love to talk about giant tits and gay sex. In twenty thirteen, the average Twitter trend lasted for an average of seventeen point five hours. Now, in 2012 or 2022, the average Twitter trend lasts for 12 hours. Just 12 hours. That's all you get. Okay. Remember when, remember when we saved comedy forever by defending Dave Chappelle? Yeah, we got 12 we hours. We got 12 hours out of it. It's pretty good. And then, Everybody gets 12 hours of fame. I wouldn't mind the it's whole like 18. Yeah, exactly. 15 minutes. 15 hey. minutes, well. Nothing. I mean, the 15 minutes was supposed to represent at least a month. It was a theoretical 15 minutes. Now, Dick, the prefrontal cortex is the area of the brain that helps humans control their focus. 
We, uh, adults, you know, we have mastery over it. Thankfully, me and you, our attention spans, we might rot away a little bit. Mine's, or, mine is dog shit. It is it's dog so shit. Bad. I agree. But imagine, so bad. imagine being a child growing up in the TikTok generation without any ability to develop a prefrontal cortex with any sort of attention span. Okay. Scientists warn that when the brain becomes accustomed to constant changes like those in the digital world, it becomes difficult to stay focused. This, of course, coming at a time when TikTok is the second most popular social media platform among children in the U.S., Yeah, with 60% of children from ages 12 to 15 using it weekly. It's basically a constant dopamine addiction <laughs> that's telling you, just focus on something for literally 10 seconds, Yeah, and then I can immediately give you something else. Yeah. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts. That's the worst fucking thing to give to kids. It's at least before you'd watch the cartoons. There was a study once, I, I should have brought this one up, where it was like the yeah, number- you're already even changing in the middle of your sins to talk I about know, something else. I can't else, even focus that. on what the fuck I'm talking about! <laughs> that these kids are jumping around from thing to thing. They can't stay focused on anything. And we're, we're literally designing apps that are designed specifically to condition their brains to constantly seek a brand new dopamine fucking hit <laughs> every two seconds. And if they don't get it, they're like, I'm fucking bored. Yeah, good. I'm fucking bored. No, fuck, fuck attention spans. If you- you can't fix if you can't deal with this information that you're getting immediately move on to something else no no okay because no. someone who can do it or a computer will do it for you but i want boom 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 <laughs> no, boom, no, boom boom no. boom yeah when's the last time you read a book I don't even know what a book is. That's how I feel. I, I want to know. But what, what, is this, what is this fixation? Okay, I hate, I hate reading. I have read probably. No, I love reading. I've read probably more than anybody else in the whole world. Okay. And, and it's. <laughs> and sure. With the, here's what I have to say about all of those books. Gay. Mm. There's nothing. There, there's nothing that you can get out of a book that some that you can't get out of somebody who read the book and could tell you about it. Wow, you sound like a TikTok programmer right now. Well, I mean, what you do you sound, want? Like, what do these kids need to like sit down and be, have time with their thoughts? What do you think the imagine book? Imagine anything? What no, do you think the book four hour work week t tells you about. <laughs> have a four hour work week. Yeah. Okay, well, fucking absolutely no chance of that. Right. 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 I feel so tell me your magic. Go ahead. I feel like this is a dangerous precedent we're taking. How is anyone going to get anything done if you can't focus on a single task in front of you? How how are we going to have a society when you're just constantly like, oh, I should probably you know do my laundry. Oh shit, what if I look at this? Oh, and then everyone ends up living a slovenly, disgusting lifestyle. No, uh, our species will die out because the idea oh. of courtship will just be an exhaustion. Courtship? It's like the amount, this, an of, problem the amount of time I could spend going on a date and learning to love a woman. I could have watched a thousand TikToks by then. And then our entire I species ten dies I could have honestly looked at sex. You go, well, yeah. why would I have sex? It takes like an hour or whatever to get the lady in the bed and take off her clothes. I could jerk off a hundred times in that amount of time. Jerking off takes like three hours, though. Well, so, if you're doing what do you mean it takes three hours? Loading up. You got to find the right no, video. No, it does not take three chick hours. Chick is just a shortcut. She won't stop. No, the chick is the long way, the exhausting way, the way men used to do it when you put in the effort, <laughs> when your prefrontal cortex developed to say, all right, I can have a sustained interaction with an actual human being. What do you want to do that's so important? an eternal Skinner box that constantly scrolls into more dopamine hits. Yeah. It's sick what's going on. It's disgusting. It's perfect. It's peak man. Like, you're giving these quotes of 10 seconds and 8 seconds. Mm. The attention span should not it sh should not even be measurable. It should be... Where is the man when he is just constantly reacting to stimulus? There is no man. Where is That's the what I'm trying to tell you. The man who is pondering and developing information and forging a path forward. It's just a constant like reaction who? to short-term dopamine hits. I don't know, like Jesus. Yeah, guys, like, uh, guys, 2,000 like years Jordan ago, Peterson. guys, 2,000 years ago that you quote out of a fucking Cliff Notes <laughs> that you didn't even read, that you heard, that you got out of a meme on the internet somewhere. That's that's your ideal yeah. is what you've projected into as the ultimate popular trad man. men. Yeah, I am a trad, as we say. You want more Jordan Petersons? Is that what you want? You really want these people to think. You really want more people sitting around thinking, going, oh, you know, I just, you know what? I'm going to wear gigantic tits to my shop class. I feel like this is one of those, like, slippery slope type problems where, you know, it used to be 
you were a peasant and you were bored a lot, you know, and you had to make do. You had to sing songs. You had to read poems by candlelight. You invented a lot of stupid ways to fill your time. Okay. And then we kind of reached like a perfect little middle ground. We had TV. It's like you're bored. Put on the TV. Uh, you know what? We'll even give you. We'll give you like on demand. You can. We give you streaming. You can watch whatever you want, whatever you want. Oh, that's pretty great. Okay. And then why do we need to invent apps? Is this Eric Escobar's problem of evolution? <laughs> this is evolution. Baby. How come the perfect, like the perfect <laughs> amount of human evolution, is always when the person was 15 years old? <laughs> well, you're right. Like it we seems probably a little... should slide backwards even further. You got to embrace it, man. Fuck attention spans. They're holding you back. I want Ted Kaczynski to tell me the exact amount of technology that we need. Yeah. That guy figured it out, and uh, he knew what he wanted, and he didn't get it. You just want to be in control of your emotions and your reactions. And I you want have to be able let to go do of that anything control. in my life without going, I wonder if I got like more Twitter likes. I wonder if my YouTube video got more uh, views. Is that what you're doing? I wonder if, uh, oh, God. Oh, my, my, my life has become a constant uh, game of did the number go up? Uh, I've never oh, looked at a, you at don't a look YouTube at, analytic. You don't look at metrics. I'm a big metrics I guy. I look at our, our podcast, you know, yeah. metrics, and I go, yeah. we're kind of slipping. Gotta Are do, we slipping? Got to do another bonus episode so that people oh. sign up for the... Mm, no, you can't look at that shit. Yeah, it drives you nuts. Yeah. Because it's a, con- it's a constant game of numbers go up. Same with TikTok. You know, how many TikToks can I watch? How you many can't control How it, many though. likes can I give? How many people liked my comment? So you're blaming you're blaming the attention span, quote unquote, for like a personal problem. I I think that my lack of attention span has led to a diminished quality of life. Uh, and uh, you, I could blame myself, but also, you know. You start using, like when Instagram and Facebook showed up, they didn't tell me that they were going to start sneaking these little videos. Eventually, they were going to start, here's some fucking videos. I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. And then I watched like 10 of them. Then I watched like 100 of them. Then I go, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. I constantly am like, I'm like, oh, I just want to see on Facebook if that guy messaged me back. And I'm like scrolling through my feed and it's like, oh, hey, watch this guy bake a cake with a sausage in it. And like, watch this guy... <laughs> fix like a rusty tool shed and watch watch this lady just playing a slot machine or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck is, is that? Is that what you get on your Instagram? I get a lot of weird shit. I like have our chicks with like ridiculously huge tits. Yeah. And um, dogs. I have a, a lot, lot of cats. Stuff. I have a lot of uh, people making, smoking meats. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of like uh, guys grilling, chilling. Okay. Uh, so what would you do if you had an attention span? What do you think people would do? If they had attention spans. I don't know. Would it be better off? I mean, it would be, it would be better. It Guys would, like Nick Fuentes, you want him sleeping. to have a... It would help oh, my, yours. Uh, my right. ability to engage with media and enjoy it without... It's like hard to watch a TV show because I'm like, man, I could be tweeting. I could be... But they're all, they're all made to be consumed while you're on your phone. I know. I don't like that. It's like all, they're all... Trash. I mean, no, this is no, this is something because I, no offense, mm. I don't really like the uh, critic industry on YouTube mm. where there it's all like this is fucking too woke. Like, yeah. Oh man, this TV this show TV is, is too trash. Woke. I feel like TV is kind of a boomer thing, and okay. I don't really care about it or like it. Same yeah. with movies. Like I feel like it's just an old art form that's beneath me. What do you do for entertainment? Uh, just the big boob Instagram thing that I was telling you about, and dogs, do- <laughs> <laughs> dogs like doing stuff. Dogs. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like uh, I forget what I was going to say, but nobody has an attention span to remember it. So. You ever try to watch like old slow movies, and you're like, I know this it's a nightmare. I you go, I know this is like a piece of art. I know it's great and well crafted, but it's just yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I feel like an idiot. I feel like I'm a fucking, uh, like a shell of a human being that I can't. Do you read books? Some dead man, like, spent his whole life putting together this one piece of art that was hyper relevant at the time. And I go, oh, yeah, but I could probably, like, fucking grind out some levels in this (laughs) stupid fucking (laughs) cell phone game. What's wrong with that? It just makes everything feel 
meaningless. Everything has always felt meaningless. I know. The mo- if you could pay but attention to like- what those movies and books, the books those guys were writing are specifically, everything's fucking meaningless. Stop trying to find <laughs> meaning in it. That's what they're saying. I've read, a, I've read at least enough th- books to but know I that. I think the ultimate moral was find quiet contemplation of the people and the things you love, not go no. endlessly <laughs> scroll through titties and dogs <laughs> until you're happy enough to fall asleep from dope from constant short term dopamine don't hits. Don't sleep. Don't, don't sleep, sleep at all. Just fucking sleep forever. How about that? That's the only solution. Stretch your sleep out so that twi- so it's just one never ending twilight that abruptly stops and had no purpose. I, I hope somebody out there. I'm going to start trying to research how to lengthen my attention span. Because yeah, but you don't want to live like that. You don't want to live out. Live at all, so who cares? <laughs> Uh, you know, if I'm, I'd like Don't to at fight least who you are. I'd like to at least live a slightly introspective, cultured life yeah. where I can engage with deeper media and not just like books, a constant swarm of bullshit. Yeah, like books. Okay, what's the longest time you've ever gone without the internet? Oh God, I don't even know. Oh really? Yeah. You should try it. Like uh, yeah, maybe like a day or two. Oh no! Go for like a like week. Like when I've gone camp, like last time I went camping, which was like years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was miserable. Feel, it was miserable. It was miserable. Right? The only good part was when I was on drugs because it was kind of like using the internet, just looking at shit. Do you think the, Do you think those guys who wrote all those like deep, con- contemplative books novels would prefer their shitty life? I should over- read War and War and Peace. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. What do you think that's gonna teach you? It's just it's basically like a comic book of. The 50s. Sometimes I do try to read 30s. like some of these classic books and I go, oh, this just fucking sucks. Fucking dumb. Yeah. It's dumb. Well, like Dante's Inferno is, li- I keep trying to, I was, I, for some reason I keep trying to read Dante's Inferno and I'm like, oh, this is like incomprehensible without like a guide next to it going like, Virgil? here's what this fucking means. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause it'll be like a lion on the mount showed and gleaming from his teeth was, I'm like, what is that? What? Well, no, like, no, no, no. So I've read, I've read, uh, the entire, the trilogy Yeah. and, um, it's there's a ton of topical stuff like it's yeah, from his as time like a period. slam yeah like, like specifically 15, other 15th century poets it's like here's whatever. Satan and here's <laughs> Judas and here is the Borgia, the, the yeah, Borges yeah. Caesar Borges who is also it's like I don't know who the fuck who the fuck is that yeah, you need up. a guy to be like he was the governor at the time and yeah, whatever it's else. all trash yeah it's all trash all art is trash. <laughs> You have I to. Don't, I can't. Accept you have to that. believe that. I can't accept that. You have to believe. That's I'm the just. Most, in, I'm that's asking the most you. Depressing statement. <laughs> Do I look depressed? To you? All art is trash. Yeah, oh, it's God. crap. Throw it away. Burn it. Yeah, you're right. I'll just jerk off and eat hamburgers. Who cares? <laughs> None of it matters. <laughs> anyway, Dick, my problem is diminished attention spans, and uh, uh, I guess the general nihilism that pervades. Uh, modern society. I'm just so tired of being told like I need to read books. So you gotta read, read books. But even book. like, like, oh, do you have a book on how to read books? Is that what you're? <laughs> is that what you're telling me? <sighs> I don't know. I was always a. Uh, I always loved comic books because you can just rip through them so quick. Even as a kid, though, I've had a diminished attention span. Though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Once I once I found I'm like comic books. You can get like a whole story in like an hour, and then you yeah. can just read it ten times in a row. So. Um, it's a problem. Comic okay, books. Here's my here's my problem. Let me look. Let me pull up a, okay. a news article. News article. Nathan bringing up the news. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, my problem is uh, refusal to wear the hijab. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Women. Women right God now. Damn it, God fucking damn it. <laughs> Okay, so I, I can I say this real quick? <laughs> what At, already the attention span? Okay. No, no, no. Okay, I, well, okay, okay. Because okay, I okay. was okay. going to bring in, and I even started pulling statistics or whatever, uh, forcing women to wear the hijab, and then I They're went. Not, no, no, no. That's that's if, that's Islamophobic. They're not all being forced. Most most women they're choosing right. they're choosing to wear the hijab because they're not whores. Most women okay. see this want, is why I didn't bring it in. Uh, most women <laughs> want to wear the hijab. Allah <laughs> fucking blesses them if they wear the hijab. They want to preserve their dignity yeah. for themselves, for their family, for their husband, for their makshlamul, they call him. For the for yeah. Allah. 
I almost made I almost made the mistake cultural. of bringing in a pro women problem, and then I realized what a mistake that would be. And lo and behold, Dick has brought in the reverse. Which is forcing women to subjugate themselves my, with religious My guard. Iranian brothers, whatever no. you do, do not let the women take off the hijab. Oh whatever you do, that will be the end of your civilization if you let the women take off the this, hijab. This then you're going to start going to... offends me to my core. <laughs> I think the hijab is like, the forced hijab is like so terrible. It's not forced hijab. It's forced in fucking Iran. Okay, so... So, okay, so women are forced to wear the hijab, and I'm not forced to wear gym shorts and underpants every day. You're fine. I don't see you protesting in the street because I have to wear, be shamed for my wear body because I have to fucking, fucking wear pants. fucking gym shorts and underpants, even though even though you can see the outline of my penis yeah. in both, I still am forced, quote unquote, <laughs> for you, forced to wear them. I mean, nobody's going to beat you up if you wear the wrong kind of pants in Iran, I assume. I'm not talking about Iran. Okay. I'm talking about here. Well, here, you, you're not forced to wear the hijab either. Iranian women oh are God. burning their hijabs and cutting their Good. cutting their hair short. What's wrong with that? You don't like a short-haired lady? No. In protests <laughs> over the death, I guess some lady yeah. in Iran. Oh, no. Don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Already she with decided, this tone, she decided to. She decided to she do decided what? She decided to just throw off the hijab and other. I don't know if and there was anything I'm else gonna, that she was throwing no. off. Okay. And she was arrested by the police. Thank God. Thank God, because they we do oh, not want another oh America. We don't want another America on our hands. Okay. Okay. The last thing and we what want. What happened? What happened to her after that? She died somehow. Somehow. And now women are deciding not to wear the hijab. And they must wear the hijab. It is part of the culture. It's part of the culture to wear the hijab. The That's not a good reason. It is a very good reason. No, it's no. a very good no, reason. No, no, we no. have to do all Juneteenth. Part of the culture. Cinco de Mayo. Part of the culture. Can't be wearing feather headdresses. Part of the culture. Wear the hijab. You got to wear the hijab. <laughs> you must wear the hijab, Vito. I defer <laughs> okay. First of all, saying that <laughs> you will ruin the music, you will ruin the movies. They'll be having all kinds of problems. They'll be having. This offends me so deeply, <laughs> on so many levels. Not wearing the hijab. Me too. These, these, uh, this is like the like just historical backwards religious oppression. It is like anti free speech, anti free so expression. What's speech about wearing the hijab? It, well, you're dressed, not being able to dress how you want, being forced to wear religious garb. It's clear oppression. Free, I'll tell you about free speech. Various passages in the Quran, mm. the Muslim holy book, and no. the hadiths st have statements attributed to the Prophet Muhammad make reference to veiling your the head of your wives. <laughs> okay. That it's pleasing to Allah. Okay. Okay. So how's that for free speech? It's just free speech. It's just guys saying we want you to wear the hijab, and women are saying we want to wear the hijab. No, so what's the big no, deal? Many, the of them, many of them are saying they don't want to wear the hijab, and then one of them got fucking killed for it, which is a terrible. Let me tell tragedy. you an easy way to avoid that: wear the hijab. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's just you <laughs> white people think you know everything about Islam. No, no. And you don't. I don't think you don't I know everything about Islam. You don't understand what their world is like. You can't just not wear the hijab. Yeah. That you put yourself in danger. I know about the Barak. I know all about that. Does the Barak enter into this at all? No. Well, then well, I don't know what's going on. Does it's a different sort of world that you white, you white saviors think you can come in and just say, women, let's just cast off the hijab. See I, what happens. I think as someone who cares about liberty and freedom, even for women, I think that I think that we extend them rights as 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 we would extend them to ourselves. Oh, I think here is, we go. I think it is important to allow women to dress as they please. Are they always going to make the most never modest decision? They will never make a modest decision. <laughs> would well, you rather women? That's wear, their choice. Then Dave. they have to compete with other. We I'm so mad that this problem uh, is going to be uh, caused. Galooms. We <laughs> call I'm them. So they're mad wearing that nothing. This audience hates women enough that they're going to vote up the compulsory wearing <laughs> of the hijab. No, you just must wear the hijab. The <laughs> refusing to wear the hijab, not compulsory, but wear the hijab Guys, for. There's sometimes. Feels look, good. Sometimes it's funny to make fun of women. I get it. 
This is like one of those times you get to draw a line yeah. in the sand. It's a little much. Imagine if All right. men would dress as scantily clad and try to taunt the morals <laughs> mm. and put everything out there, oh and then you would God. feel compelled to do the same. Yeah. Imagine if everyone would just say, look, wear the hijab, okay? You don't need to get in some kind what of an arms gotta race. Wear? Why don't men got to wear anything? Because Allah fucking teams that it's Why so. all of a sudden are you fucking going to Allah as the ultimate benefactor? The show has never been, well, it's not biggest problem in Islam. It's not biggest problem as Allah wills it. Okay? It's supposed to be based on objectifiable <laughs> fucking fact. I don't know when this became a caliphate. Okay? But this is ridiculous. It's not going to be a caliphate for long <laughs> if you don't wear the fucking hijab. Okay. Just put it on. We'll let you read stuff and learn to read. And do democracy, but you got to wear the hijab. You gotta wear the. Jesus. <laughs> what is so man. wrong about the? Which, uh, I have to do tons of stuff I don't want to do. I have to pay. Everyone's acting like this is the worst fucking thing ever. Are you I have to pay it taxes. To taxes. My, if I could, if I could have no problems and yeah. wear the hijab, I would take it in a second. Okay. I would say, Al Alu Halaka. Uh, Allah be praised if I could just wear the hijab and have no problems in my fucking life have no interest have no interest on loans Are you fucking kidding me? If, so, if somebody came to me and says, oh, oh, would you like to have no Islamic Islamic law? You can't charge interest. Yeah, you can't fucking charge interest that's some other true. another religion has interest charging. Yeah, that's fine Go nuts another religion Islamic <laughs> law has no interest That's why, Offendi, that's you, that's why you they have terrible You hundred thousand dollars from me. You just pay me back hundred eight thousand yeah. dollars no matter what no matter when okay, maybe well, I don't think that's period. an argument in favor of taking rights away hijab. from women. I don't I don't think they're connected What's rights about they have to I mean that's more rights Actually, okay. no rights is let's see those tits. That's America. Let's see that ass Let's see those titties that you got shave your pussy. How come your girlfriend doesn't wear the hijab? Oh God willing Allah <laughs> She is lost well, I'm hopefully you can fix this household and bring grace to the glory of Allah. Uh, I'm working on it. Yeah, well, good I'm luck. I'm working on God, it. God bless if your my heart. My attention span. I hope you have a perfect. I wish you. What do you think you I have? I wish to each of your children a camel or whatever the fuck. God, you know, whatever. Seven cam. Seven, seven camels, camels for every child. Sure. Uh, we have way. You and I, as white-ish men, right. have way less rights than. Women wear the hijab. Okay. Okay. I'm talking think, about I don't think that's taxes true. and stuff, yeah. making decisions, seeing <laughs> Lord of the Rings sucks. <laughs> okay. Having chargers that I, are not right. That's right. I have chargers. so much going on in my life. I wish I was a woman in religious servitude in a Muslim dominated country. How much of her taxes went to Ukraine? Okay. Zero. <laughs> Fucking zero. I, you don't know that. Maybe. All Where right. the fuck? They might have went. Yeah, but she's paying for you know all the Islam stuff. I'm sure they're garnishing her wages. Well. God willing. This this is a new show. This is a new show for you. Okay. Apparently, uh, this is not fair. You can't just suddenly develop a religious uh, background and go. Well, you know, by Allah, Allah wills it. <laughs> It's a ridiculous way to argue. Some people think that women are forced to wear the hijab. Some people. Okay. I'm Others one of those people. are confused about the hijab's meaning. And oh, have called for it the to be meaning. Banned. What is the meaning <laughs> of the However, hijab? However, as more people, you have to learn about the hijab and Islam and acceptance and understanding. Yeah. Um, it's so sacred that we have to beat the shit out of you if you don't wear you it. You know who wore the hijab? Oh. Malala Yousafzai, who is a very wonderful champion of... <laughs> Learning about uh, book learning yeah. and being a woman. Sure. And uh, she was killed. Killed. Did she die? I don't know. She was shot in the head, I think. Wait, I thought that was the one. Isn't that the one that got acid thrown on her? No, no. She's a beautiful little girl. Uh, Malala. I don't think she's dead. Malala. Yousafzai. Let's see. There Let's you go. See. Hijab. Bam. Right in your face. Well, yeah, she's wearing a hijab. She's but you wearing said a hijab. You said she was dead. That's different. I made a mistake. You're absolutely wrong. She won a Nobel Peace Prize. Those are way wearing different. Wearing the hijab. Dead. Wearing okay. the hijab, sure. If the hijab is good enough for Malalia Yousafzai. Don't do it's that. Good enough. Don't pretend you care about her at all. 
<laughs> I see right through you, you motherfucker. <laughs> what? You wore the Why would you disrespect Malala Yousafzai? You, you don't even fucking know anything it's good about enough this. It's for kid. her, I'm saying. It's good enough for her. Okay, fine. How Is do you th- want you want women to wear nothing and just run around with their with their hair hanging out? Vaginas swinging around all over them? I think they should be able to make their own decisions as part of a free nation, not ruled by a religious it's governing body, an oppressive women. religious governing body. It is an anti-democratic and anti-freedom, and I know you know this. You get that fucking. And vagina. I know this uh, this temporary conversion to the glory of Islam. Not temporary. Te- okay. Okay. I, when I come back here, you better be on a fucking square of carpet facing west at sunset or whatever the fuck. Uh, east. East. We well, gotta face the sun every time, right? Or no? No. Fucking. You gotta face Mecca. Sun? Mecca. Well, where's Mecca? East. Fucking east. Wasn't it also west? I would. It's next to a certain country that I cannot name. <laughs> All right, of course, because you do not recognize it. I don't recognize you it. Your people. <laughs> yeah. Well, aren't there numerous ways to face Mecca? Why is it west always? Well, you would think that. You would th- <laughs> it's a globe. Kind of think. Th- yeah. <laughs> Any way you face it. Theoretically, going to hit Mecca. No, no. At some you have point. to bisect. The, it has to be the closest way. Does it? To Mecca. Yeah. yeah. It's that I big don't cube, know. man. That big oh, cube. okay. You know what's in the cube? Yeah, computer. What's what's the computer doing? <laughs> Fucking calculating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You heard it what here. What do you think it is? Islamic history. It's fucking with calculating Mr. answers. With, uh, high high priestess Masterson. Look, don't say priestess. Yeah. What do they call? What do they call? What what are you if you're a uh, Islamic ayatollah? Ayatollah Masterson. No, no. Uh, a Shia? A sheik? Sheik? That doesn't seem right. I think a sheik's just like a guy with money. The Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik. Now that's a, honestly, if anybody's going to convert me. Is that is it a Mahmoud? Mahmoud. Yes, that sounds about right. I'm just thinking about uh, the dis- the uh, Autobots computer. Yeah. <laughs> that was under the Decepticon <laughs> city. Yeah, is that what helped uh, create Jerusalem? Is that not uh-huh. a, did the no. Decepticons help with that? <laughs> Are we done? Are you done? Look, what's so big? What's so big a deal about wear the hijab? Okay, I just oppose. I I I think people should have freedom. Not Alex Jones. I I think Alex Jones should have freedom, and he has freedom. Okay, and he doesn't have to wear a hijab either. Okay. Well, it's funny. Uh, your problem actually kind of plays into mine, Dick. Because mm-hmm. uh, I have another problem regarding enforced clothing options. Okay. And I think it's wrong. And I'm all about freedom. You should wear what you want. My problem is sports uniforms. Okay. Dick, modern sports, let's be real. Getting a little bored. Same old baseball game, same old football game, throwing, catching, hitting, pitching. Mm -hmm. I need something to liven up the sport. Yeah. And what I'm talking about, what I think has always been a big problem in the sporting arena is the uniforms. Okay. They could be so much more exciting. Okay. And draw from all of the exciting uh, world of fiction and fantasy and all these things surrounding us. Yeah. And it would make it so much more exciting. I mean, we have teams with names like the Vikings. Imagine they were came out as true Viking warriors and their pads playing were football. Like, yeah, 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 and they had braided beards and fucking horns on their helmets and shit. How okay. much more exciting would that be? I mean, how much more? What's a, what's a team? What's your favorite team? Uh, the Raiders. The Raiders, perfect. A bunch of pirate guys coming out, yeah. eye patches and fucking like golden teeth, and you're like, oh fuck, we're playing the Raiders. Those guys are nuts. They have fucking cutlasses and yeah. shit. And okay, that would be so exciting. And yet, at every turn, these sports yeah. leagues go out of their way to remove even the slightest amount of personalization and excitement. From the sports uniform. <laughs> they do? They do. Okay, the NBA. Me, no, I, okay, go ahead. I have a list of NBA bans on certain types of uh, apparel. In the okay. 1980s, do you know that players were going around wearing big gold chains? You know how exciting that was to see? That was Taking, actually, yeah. That's fucking baller. Yeah, I NBA remember that. says, nope, can't have that. In 2000, Sam Perkins wore a do-rag in one game. They banned him forever. Why could we could have a bunch of guys do rags? Banned him forever or do rags? No, do rags. Do rags. 
Yeah, Imagine that's if you had a bunch shit. of like street looking guys being cool, doing stuff. In 2010, they banned upside down headbands. In 2011, they banned tinted Wait, eyewear. Upside down headbands? Yeah, you know, the NBA, you lo- know? The NBA logo was on it upside like you, down. Like, you, like the American flag is upside down? Yeah, you, you can't, can't even fuck that, around with the headband. That, that, it's bullshit. 2011. Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. Go 2011, ahead. tinted eyewear. You know how some guys wear like face masks or whatever? Like, he was like, oh, what if yeah. it was like orange tinted? That would look cool. Nope, banned that shit. One of the worst ones is, did you ever see LeBron James' carbon fiber face mask when he was trying to protect his face? Oh, that was so lame. No, man, that was fucking cool. He looked like a Batman I hate villain. Those guys. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, they told him he wasn't allowed to have that anymore. In 2019, they've banned ninja headbands. People were like putting on headbands, hiding behind themselves, looking like Naruto and shit. We don't get anything. Yeah. Famously, Michael Jordan couldn't wear his uh, own sneakers because he wasn't allowed to wear black sneakers on the court. It had to be white sneakers. Huh. And uh, they just, they constantly just strip all the individualism out of sports. When I'm going to argue, it should go the opposite way. We should have, like, guys in fucking Iron Man suits. Was Kobe allowed to wear a seatbelt when his helicopter crashed? No, and that's part of the problem, (laughs) is that, unfortunately, (laughs) the NBA banned seatbelts. For him and all those kids. Oh, so many kids died in that fucking crash. <laughs> they did? Yeah. You don't, did you hear that story? No. That's the, that's the. I mean, I was going to say the funniest part, but maybe that's not the best word to use. Is the that, worst part. The worst part is that it was Kobe, his daughter. His daughter he, died too? Yeah, and he went to his daughter oh, and he shit. said, hey, tell all your friends we're going to take a helicopter ride. So it was a bunch of kids from her school and they all got on the helicopter and they all died. And for some reason, nobody talks about any of the kids who are dead because they only care about Kobe. Is Alex Jones but talking there was like about that? like five them? dead kids on that helicopter. Oh my God. Were any of them wearing the hijab? I <laughs> probably God not. Only know. Allah probably only knows. Not. See, I always, I always have this head cannon where there was like one girl at the school who was unpopular, and I imagine all the popular girls going up to her and they're going, "Yeah, we're going on Kobe Bryant's helicopter, and you're not allowed to come because yeah. you're a dork." And then all those kids fucking died. And that one kid went, "Good, she did it." <laughs> she, well, she she, took, she reveled in it. Yeah, that was a, that was she a, slipped a pilot a roof. Went, I guess Mickey. the universe does make sense sometimes. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, we're a little off track. The only, uh, I mean, even like stupid stuff uh, from the NFL, Cam Newton was fined $10,000 because the clips holding his face mask in were from Under Armour instead of Nike. And they're only allowed to wear Nike Uh, stuff. Oh, that's bull. It's a clip for your fucking thing. Uh, Chad Johnson, also Chad Ocho Cinco, had to change his name so he could get the words Ocho Cinco on the back of his jersey without getting major fines. Uh, he was also fined twenty thousand dollars for wearing gold cleats. Let these guys have a little bit of fun. I fucking love Ocho Cinco. Yeah, and you know what's fun about him is he tried to spice up the uniform with a little bit of razzle dazzle. But instead, we live in America where everybody's got to fit into a perfect little box and everything. No, it should be out of control. There should be fucking laser piping, and people should have like smoke shooting out of their shoulders, and you know there should be sticky bombs or whatever. Like everything should be fucking nuts. It should be like a battleground out there. Well, it would be so much more exciting. You know who tried? It's because first of all, it's because the NFL uh, is gay. Yeah. And has a monopoly on the broadcasting rights mm. for primetime. And do you know who started a league to challenge All that right. monopoly? Yeah. It was called the U.S. Football Look, League. I have no do problem you know? with that. I have no problem with that. And he won. And he won and a he dollar. Won a dollar. A dollar. Donald J. Trump. He tried, so who he tried has been to bring in the XFL. He tried to USFL. bring the razzle-daggle. Yeah. What was called the XFL? No, no, no. The USFL was way before the XFL. Oh, you're right. Yeah. In and like the, the 80s. XFL, he tried to revitalize it later. Yeah. He's still ta- or he was still talking about doing it. Obviously, he's not doing it now. But And these old white Bidens, who are all racist, yeah. stop them. I look at the popularity of pro wrestling, and what do we love about pro wrestling? We love the showmanship. We love yeah. the individuality. We love the character. These players should be characters. They should be in, encouraged to develop gimmicks. Yeah. You know? There should be an Iron Sheik on the football field where you go, man, you know, I love I love rooting for the Bills, except for that one guy who always comes out and goes, He's Allah's an going to kill your fucking family, yeah. and then scores a touchdown. You're like, you love to hate him. 
Yeah, I, I hate. I just think there could be more showmanship, and I, I think starting with the the uniforms, it'll just allow people to get, if anything, a little bit of individuality. Like, well, who's the guy who always wore a face mask? Isaiah Thomas? I don't know. He was like really tall, and every time he would like try to grab the ball, people were just jamming their fucking hands in his face. He's like, okay, I'm tired of getting my eyes poked out. I'm wearing a face mask for the rest of my career. But then that's what he was known for, and it was like a cool like uh, yeah. trademark. And I want more of that. You know, in the in the hockey, you're allowed to spray paint your goalie mask. That's cool. Yeah, they should have that for everything. Yeah, they let hockey players get away with more. a lot. <laughs> For a number of reasons. That's why hockey's the coolest sport. They're fucking nuts. They're like, listen, we gotta let these guys beat the shit out of each other. Why? Because they're fucking animals. Like, what? What else are they gonna do? I really hate how athletes have to pretend like they're investment bankers. Yeah, like all the time. They gotta wear suits and do the the press conference. Like, oh, what'd you think of that game? Well, you know, I thought really like, uh, it at all. Just chop his balls off. Yeah. Just ask that. Like, oh, so do your balls? Do they look like this when you? When How great was it when, uh, God, what's, uh, not Scotty Pippen, uh, Dennis Rodman with the hair. Yeah. It was out there. It was like North Korea. Freaky. Yeah. And he's talking about Carmen Electra jacking him off or something. That's why he's the be- greatest basketball player ever lived. Cause he, you know, instead of the, well, you know, we're really going to show it our all. He's like, I'm fucking crazy. Let's play basketball. And you're like, oh, this is great. I love this fucking or when guy. Meta World Peace beat up like half of <laughs> <laughs> Which city was he in? Detroit or Philadelphia or something? Yeah, I don't know. Ron remember. Artest jumped into the. It's beautiful. Sports yeah. needs more razzle dazzle. It needs more showmanship. It makes me hate. It makes me I'm really so bored. hate yeah. like sports watchers who fund this shit. And you think like, why do you? I feel the same way about like Star Wars people. Like, why do you support this shit? It's it's just made to be less fun. Like Why do you want, want these guys fun. to be so bland? Why are you so addicted to this? Yeah. Why do you want them to all look exactly the same and, uh, all right, guys, let's get out there. Let's do it. No, I want them, like, fucking snarling and spitting and bleeding. What if we called them the Cleveland Caucasians? What then? <laughs> <laughs> call them the... F- <laughs> call them the fat bitches. How about that? Call them yeah. the fuck... Call them the Philadelphia fuck fat bitches. Well, I'm I- in. Yeah. Everyone would be in. You know it because they're addicted <laughs> to sports. That's what drives me nuts about it. It's the sports that people are addicted to, and then they craft this, like, persona and this etiquette around that, but the addiction is still there. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, oh, you like cocaine, huh? Well, you know, if you buy any cocaine, we're the National Cocaine League, so if you buy any, you have to shove this big dildo up your ass. <laughs> like, I'm like, well, I'm obviously going to do it because I'm addicted to the cocaine, right. but like that shouldn't be part of the experience. Acting like acting like an uptight wasp asshole should not be a requirement to liking sports and supporting it shouldn't be either. I fucking hate it. Sports are boring. It's time to liven them up. Just let everybody go wild. Let, let them wear. Let them wear crazy sneakers. Let them wear a headband or a hijab. Let them bring a fucking knife on the court. It'd be funny. It'd be cool. All right, Dick, bring us home. Uh, my last problem is um, getting a band aid wet. Getting having a band aid. <sighs> having a band aid on your finger. Doing the washing your hands. Band aid wet. <sighs> Doing the dishes, getting the Band-Aid wet. Terrible. Then you got the wet Band-Aid. Flopping off, folding in on itself. Getting goo all over your cut. All oh, those little, those mm. little brown, yeah, those little black goo remnants. Uh, I just put this Band-Aid on. I don't have like an infinite supply of Band-Aids. Oh, yeah. When you're running low. Well, you're, or you're like me and you got the Pokemon Band-Aids and you go, oh, that was a Squirtle. I don't want to replace it with a Charmander. You got Pokemon band aids. Oh, I got Pokemon band aids. I'm saving up all the Pikachus. Okay, what are our pro- our problems? Are- <laughs> We've gone for a long time. I know. Uh, our problems are short attention spans. Short attention spans, kind of. which is not a problem. Yes, it is. Uh, wear the not refusal to wear the hijab, which is not a problem. Mm-hmm. Tell that to fucking uh, what's her name? Balloon Lou. Balloon Lou. The other one that's Linda dead. Smith. Fucking Rosa Parks. No. Rosa yeah, Rosa Parks. Parks. My mine are sports uniforms. Uh, getting the Band-Aid wet. And getting the Band-Aid wet. Okay. 
Fuck this show. We got some voicemails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for coming by again. We uh, recorded two episodes today, and one of them is an exciting bonus episode, The Biggest Problem, Supersized Edition. All your fast food problems coming to you at patreon.com slash biggest problem. Sign up, get the bonus episode, and let's do some voicemails. All right. I just want to say that Vito's problem is by far – the the biggest problem in the universe so far in in all of this in both shows wow. right wow the one with um the old one yeah all right there were some good problems there but this okay. is this is the biggest problem so far in the new show and the old one all right theater kids are fucking horrible I can't believe that. and um yeah that's about it I fu- I still hate you Vito. <laughs> I like that he wasn't too eloquent about it he's just like yeah it is the biggest problem I don't know why. And fuck you. Thank yeah. you, Tyler. Okay. As long as he agrees with me, I'll take the W. Let's see here. Uh, suicide is not the 10th and 3rd highest cause of death in reality. It's labeled such because when you can label a death as a suicide, it means that life insurance will not pay out for it. Oh. Uh, insurance okay. companies are the biggest problem. So he's saying that insurance companies are falsely labeling labeling deaths deaths as suicide, suicide, so they don't have to pay out. What a world. Does that sound... I don't don't know know about that. That that would be a lot of (laughs) faked suicides. Man, that would be really tough. Don't put past them. I guess. I don't know. Here's one about black people swimming. Oh, that'll be good. So uh, I was listening to the latest episode, and um, yeah... I, I wanted to debunk Dick's uh, uh, seemingly racist yes. thing about uh, black people nope. having differences in density, Not racist. et cetera, et cetera. So I looked it up, and I found a study from the National Library of Medicine. Um, it's at PubMed.ncbi. This is basically an article from their, from their stuff, right? Go on. And it's telling me here that... There were pretty much similarities in arm span, trunk flexibility, and full inspiration and exhalation of black and white subjects. However, there were differences in body fat distribution and buoyancies, with white storing more fat and having more buoyancy than black. God damn it. You're fucking right. Damn it. It's not about bone density. It, it's about it's not fat about bone density, though. It's about that, fat distribution. It. it is about that, too. You're wrong. It is about that, too. Go fuck no. yourself. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, go to the bathroom. Uh, fuck you. Trying to fucking stump me. you want me to play a couple of these? Just give me the no, mouse. I'll just trim it out. Can I trim it out? I'll just play some. It's funny. Okay, here. Give me the mouse. Hand oh, hand the mouse it? to me. It's fucking wireless. I want to I wanna listen to some. Let's see. Uh, breakfast. God damn it, Vito. Uh, re-listening to the problems again for the last episode, a few episodes ago, uh, your voted up is the price of a breakfast. Are yes. you fucking kidding me? Who the shit gives a fuck about breakfast? Who even eats breakfast, man? I don't eat breakfast. What kind of complaint is that? How about the price of, like, housing? Or the price of medical insurance, the price of like OnlyFans accounts, like twenty, thirty bucks to see your fucking tits. Are you kidding me? The price of beer or the price of uh, gas uh, voted up. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? The price of breakfast. God damn it. Although I will say, Vito, uh, your voted up stingers, uh, they got me. Wondering either you use auto tune or you had like some serious choir like singing backgrounds. Uh, you hit notes I would uh, never even imagine hitting. Well, never thank even you. dream of hitting. I don't know how you do wow. it. Wow. Uh, Vote it up, I guess. Vote it up. That guy says my problem about overpriced breakfast is bullshit. And then he released a bunch of other things that are overpriced. That would have been better problems. Fuck you, idiot. And then he said he wonders if I'm using auto-tune, which is quite the compliment. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There you go, Dick. You can have the mouse back. All right. No auto-tune, guys. Uh, I didn't really do choir or anything. I'm just I like singing in the shower. I like making noise with my mouth. Hmm. I love just driving around. Me and my buddies, we used to drive around going... How many of you? Like 10 of us. 
Wow. Just screaming, making crazy. No, just like two or three. Minutes. Oh, okay. And you just do that with your mouth. You, your mouth can make such incredible sounds. <laughs> That's why I have such a voice for a radio. I don't know if I would describe those as incredible. All right, here you go. Such a radio. Vito, make your weight loss content, you retard, you stupid fat. I said butt. I was going to do that, and do then you guys yelled at me. from your bike. Oh, here's me riding my bike in L.A. No one will watch it, but you'll at least be in your brain saying, oh, I'm making content. Yeah. And maybe you'll become like uh, one of those fat people that becomes like a, a fitness influencer. And then oh. they'll pay, someone will pay for your uh, skin removal fixer. Oh, God, I don't or to think about that. Whatever they call that shit that turns fat fucks into normal looking humans after they lose 200 pounds. develop an eating disorder? Get on the bike, you piece sister. of shit. To do your that. sister under the bus? Would you have to get a skin removal thing great. if you lost weight? Uh, yeah. At this point? Oh, yeah. If I lost a ton of weight? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like 300 pounds. You got? Are you taking the bike or what? I, will, I will take the bike. Okay. Does it have a lock? Do you need Do you need me to give you a lock no, to take it? I don't need a lock. I, I have just, locks. I don't need the lock. Are you sure? I think I have a bike lock. <laughs> I do not want you, know you coming back. Have, if it doesn't have a lock, has, I'm just going to leave I it. Have, you know what? I mean, if it doesn't have a lock, really, what can I do with it? So I'll just leave it. Not a big deal. I don't want you coming back saying that the bike got stolen. Uh, I think I have a bike. If you have an extra bike lock, I'll take it. But well, I'll, I have a bike lock. No, you can keep your own bike lock. <laughs> I can get a bike lock. <laughs> okay. It would be funny uh, if I started coming up with very petty excuses. What that was the whole episode. What, what color, what color is the bike? Blue and silver. Oh. What color do you want? Pink? Not blue. Pink and t whatever the pedophile flag is. Pink and, uh, well, pink and blue, of course. And yellow, I think. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, uh, Vito. There's a three-minute voicemail, so it better be good. personalities that we have include pussies like you. Look, listen, when they're talking about election fraud, all right, listen up, listen up. Oh, my okay? God. They'll be like, oh, what about, what about in West Virginia where they had those people that, like, put the things over the windows? Yeah. Right? Wait, is he oh, on my side or not on my side? Vans, there's some skeptics up on You, God damn it, you don't know if what they're talking about is true or not. The point is putting it out there, and then you go... Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, if that's what happens, that sounds sketchy. What you have to say is, fuck you, go fuck yourself. Oh, which side is he on? I'm All confused. right, there's an election fraud every year, but, you know, oh, yeah, I bet if they put those things over those windows there, yeah, <laughs> that sounds pretty sketchy. <laughs> they probably should go through some sort of judicial process I think he's to on, find out whether or not that's you. true okay. and whether that affected the election. Oh, they did? Oh, they went through the process. Yeah, they did they go through that. Yeah. No problem? Okay. So I think he is on All this right. end. So if the thing that they're talking about is true. Oh my god, the election was two years ago. Just cut this. <laughs> fuck this. I don't care. We're not doing election All right, fraud super again. Super chats. Jesus time. Christ. Uh, Let's go get the super chats in. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, get your super chats in. Thanks for being a fan of the show. Coup for two. Thanks for you for not killing yourself via Big Mac. I'm getting there. Feliciously for five. Car battery died. Going to Greenland later. But for now, here's five dollars while I drink away my sorrows. Get Thanks. it done. G money for five. Why does Vito's IMDb list America's Court with Judge Ross? under the name Colin Ponce, Ponset, TBF, 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 because America's Court with Judge Ross is a fake court show with not real people, so I was hired to play the part of a plaintiff Oh, uh, Colin Ponset. Named Colin Ponset. I have never seen the episode, and if anyone can find it, I will give you $50. Oh, wow. This okay. Is America's Court with Judge Ross. And I, I had the episode title. It's called PTA Mommy Drama Lands Me in Jail. <laughs> uh, good luck. Okay. Petty for 20 big dollars. And oh, now whoops. I can't read it because Dick extended the oh, thing. Shit. It's because there's not enough super chats. It means not it enough. It it's this. screwing it up. Petty for 20. Have you done your push ups today, Vito? I usually get core and cardio on Fridays, but chicken out and hit back and tries a day early because I. He's going to fuck me up. What is this trick? Because I find all the movements to be <laughs> heavily <laughs> aggravating to my scars now. Oh, I saw that coming a mile away. I don't know about but a mile. Yeah. Dick, he donated 20 bucks. Okay. To be fair. Oh, to be I fair. I suck, Cox. 
Thank I you, suck, Cardi. Cardi. Thank <laughs> you. Your super chats make the world go round. Mike Hunt for five. The fake bust teacher only bothers me because I can't have correctly sized boobs in my video games. I'm surprised we didn't talk about her. Because that has been on my mind like crazy. I think she's uh, scamming them. I think there's too much. Well, yeah, there's a number of different. There's there's so many options. I think it's a guy who's doing a joke. It's it's possible that it's a guy trying to get fired so he can win a free lawsuit. Yeah, or free yeah. Discrimination. There's just no way. It could way. be trying to highlight how absurd what he's allowed to get away with is, or it could just be a guy who's getting off on wearing giant tits in front of his his class. I don't know. That's that's the least likely explanation for me. There's a lot of crazy people. But I do like that all of conservative Twitter is obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know how you can't not be obsessed with it. It's crazy. But they shouldn't be. I don't know who should be. I don't know anything. Bazooka for 20 says Shawnee. Shawnees. Wow, thanks. Someone keeps trying to give me a Shawnee, and I keep not getting back to them. I need a Shawnee. Wet I Bandit for 10. Well, give me a shiny. I got to set up a wallet, though. Yeah. Wet Bandit for 10. Vito, I'd recommend not using scooters. Although they seem to help, the load that the seat puts on your lower back are known to be fairly damn. He's f- <laughs> he fucking I suck, I fucking knew he was going to get me. Ah, fuck. All right, you got me. I couldn't stop myself uh, in time. I couldn't stop myself in time. Mike Hunter for five. Attention span isn't the problem. It's the loss of quality entertainment. YouTube solved that problem, but you can't. Be funny on YouTube anymore. I'm so worried now. DC Connolly for five. Patreon yeah, that's, goal. That is true. You can't be funny. Like, <laughs> entertainment has been so sanitized. It's not possible. It's a very to complicated funny. topic. I also think part of the problem is that guys who aren't funny are trying to be funny and they're ruining it. Like that guy, again, who we're talking about, that geeks and gamers guy. Oh, yeah. Who's like trying to be like, oh, I'm funny. Ha ha ha. Why are there fucking Mexicans in Star Wars? And you're like, Bro, that's not funny. That's well, just they, like racist. They benefit from it too. Like the yeah. the geeks and gamers guys benefit from a sanitized world. Yeah. Where they're constantly complaining about how things are woke, but they themselves are not funny. Yeah, that's what drives me most nuts about it. Is like if you like if you guys were subversive and funny, I wouldn't be mad. But like you just say racist shit and it isn't interesting or funny. But because it's just shocking in the sanitized world, it's popular. I don't know. But then you react to them. I don't know. And it's not funny. And it's not funny either. either. Nothing's like, funny. Nah, but you know why they're famous? Because there's, because like Sam Hyde's gone. Yeah. If Sam Hyde and Alex Jones were still on, all of those people would be gone. I will say this for Alex Jones: his uh, recent court hijinks were pretty funny. <sighs> Thank you. Where he That's goes. All I need it. Oh, oh, you liberals gonna cry about Iraq and that, what do you think? He's like, yeah, you know, like Iraq, all those people who killed in Iraq. What is this, a struggle session? I was like, <laughs> he's got a he's got a point. Like I'm not gonna apologize to you. I how, apologize how, to the parents. How many times does he have to say he's sorry? He already said it. None. We know he said it. Uh DC Connolly five, a Patreon goal for Johnny the Audio Engineer. Dick, we've we've asked him, but he's busy. Yeah, he, everyone's very busy. Uh, like people are working in LA. People are trying to make a living. And not dead for nine ninety nine. The results are in, amigo. What's left to ponder? I don't know that what that was in reference to. Me either. Pop quiz for a big nineteen ninety nine says destroy all art. Come yes, on. absolutely. Come on with this. Jim Satala for one ninety nine. Vito wears his hijab every day. He is legal. A woman. I should be wearing a hijab. You should be out of protest. Allah will permit it. Petty for. No, no. If Petty. Allah permits it, stop. inshallah. Stop this. Inshallah, Bolika Hala. <laughs> You're the worst Mexican Islamist. <laughs> Petty for five. By Allah, behave yourself. I will give you a taste of my shoe. Shaluka la hala. And uh, la shaka to you, my brother. Mike Hunt for two, forced to wear a mask, forced to wear a hijab. Exactly same. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Therefore, you should be against the hijab. No, because they didn't so- support me in not being so against it's, the mask. It's, it's so revenge. Fuck them. It's revenge. By I'll Allah, be, they will be avenged. <laughs> I will be avenged. <laughs> I will ride my Barack into the sun. Ride dog for vi- five. Vote up the no fun league. That's what they called the NFL. NFL for all the things that you're saying. It's true. It's true. Mike Hunt for two. What about the Redskins, Vito? Bring them back. Let them womp them around the whole fucking thing. Coffee spliff. What? 
<laughs> Can't say wampum. Coffee split for two. Dick, explain how you became a Raiders fan. <laughs> Mexican, you idiot. How do you not know that? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Hunt for two. I started using super glue instead of band aids. I actually hear that's a good idea. Maybe I should try that. Ellie Anderson for one ninety nine says Vito hired the kitties. They're driving me nuts. Whoa, lady. Whoa, whoa, they will whoa. not stop What's peeing on? on things. Don't click on whoever it's got to add her on Instagram. Doesn't channel has no content, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> bitch was joined, joined in 2013, 2013 and has put no content up. Stop harassing our female viewers. What's harassing? You know, look at bus size and shit. Cabernet for two. You should veto eating breakfast, pig. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> 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 that was really nice of you. Yeah. And Colonel J, Dick, please coerce Vito at gunpoint to use your new Fediverse node and argue with the people there. It's free content. Thank you. Please switch to Pleroma. Do you oh, want me, should I join the Fediverse and everyone just on there going to call me a pedophile or whatever the fuck? I'm just have to argue with those same people over and over. Yeah, they're so bad. It's it's Man. not so Kiwi Farms got destroyed by that random trans girl that a bunch of retards elevated to the status of a god by yeah. their blundering and <laughs> stumbling about stumbling How can around. we make her more popular? Oh, in, in an era of endless victimhood where victimhood is the highest good in which we afford people who are victims thousands upon thousands of dollars, let's victimize this woman and give her untold access to media coverage or whatever. Oh, you fucking idiots! You, what, what do you... It, 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 Destiny's the only one with a brain. I would you to do that. If I was a beautiful trans, uh, not beautiful, but if I was a passable trans woman. She looks great. She looks fine. And that's all she needs to do. If she has enough uh, female looks to get victimhood female bucks. You know why she won? Because she looks because like Because the people who she's fighting internally think she's a woman. I think so. Th and they're acting, they treated and they're her treating like her like a woman. A woman. So uh, she already wins in that all way. All of them. All of them. I uh, I believe that in their brains, they think of her as a woman, and they've been treating her like a fuck. Because women can't plan for shit. Yeah. But she's got man brain. And she's I didn't say that. I'm well. just saying that's what happened. I'm saying that if she had a brain, she may be <laughs> strategizing the way the man would and taking full advantage of you idiots and her moment of media fame. Uh, scroll down a little bit. We got a couple different buddies here. Yeah, sure. Uh, Foxolator for four ninety nine. Don't lose weight. You'll end up looking like Kevin Smith or Pendulette. It's not worth a few extra years <laughs> of life. You might have a point. Me. Well, I mean, you can move around a little better without. Yeah, but Kevin Smith looks like an idiot. He used yeah. to look fun. Me zero four one two zero for five. Quit hating on the election callers. We just want our votes to. <laughs> Was close. That was close. That was close. Uh, that was close. That was close. TBF me. counted and to be able to trust the results. <laughs> Very close. Very good. Christina Herberger for five. I'm hanging out with my bearded dragon watching your show and she's very alert. You must be interesting. Let's see Thank what you look. What's going on, Christina Herberger? On the oh, she's got a bunch all of videos. All right, all right. Maybe we'll check back later. Jim Satala for one ninety nine. Vito's hair is covered every day with his hat hijab. That's true. What if the women I had wear to wear my own a hat? form of hijab? What if they just had to wear a hat? They had to wear fun graphic hats. Sure. Yeah. Fine. Okay. <coughs> That's a nice compromise. No big deal then. Got no problem. Put that. the hat. Make it a little bigger. Oh my God! Uh, you don't want to join the Fediverse? We're a bunch. We're like uh, everybody just argues about what the who's a Fed, who's a who's a communist, who's a federal agent. Yeah, uh, you glow in the dark. You're glowing in the dark. Everybody's glowing in the dark. Everything that ever happened in the world is a false flag. Man, it well the false flag thing. Um, they're retarded. Remember it's, when January 6th happened and I had to listen to a bunch of guys go, "Well, that's actually Antifa in disguise." I'm like, "No, it's not." No, that that one guy was a Fed though. That one guy, guy that said tomorrow we're going into the Capitol, that guy was a federal agent. 100%. Maybe. I don't know. That's what you guys wanted. It's what what wanted? He, he, he spoke your desires out loud. What, going into the tomorrow Capitol? we're going to the Capitol and we're going to cut Mike Pence's head off. And you're secretly got like, you're like, yeah, have some fun with that. I would hate that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because I love... 
Democracy. Democracy. <laughs> shit, fucking piece of shit. Hit refresh one more time. Last batch of super chats. Do you know who's a fed? Do you know who's a pedophile? You're a pedophile. <laughs> You're a fed. You're a pedophile. You're a I fed. We don't think too much kindly to your kindly around Henderson here. Anderson asks for a dollar ninety nine veto. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, winky uh, smiley face. Winky don't smiley forget that. Face. Ooh. You know, I have a hundred girlfriends. They're a harem, and uh, I'm gonna have a bachelorette type situation where I slowly wheedle them down and see which of them will vie for my affections. How slowly? I don't know. I'm pretty lazy, so <laughs> maybe fifty years. It's gonna come down like to who that. makes me the best chocolate milkshake. Oh, and who doesn't nag me about getting on that bike? Are you going to ride the bike today? No. I lost my bike lock. I don't want to. <laughs> I'll ride the bike. What a show. <laughs> Dick, show me You're our biggest fed. supporters. You're a fan. You're a fan. You're, a fan. You're, a fan. You're working You're for the communists. Fan. You're a Marxist Actually, you're subverter. A oh, Vosh is a pedophile. Vito's a pedophile. Dick's a pedophile. Flamenco's a pedophile. Who's not a pedophile? Well, wait, you threw in. You. Th I don't want you to say. That I'm not a pedophile because flamenco and Vosh are not pedophiles. I'm just saying, look, even if one, even if Vosh no, no. is a pedophile, not everybody. I don't know who is. Yeah, but I was not found in any kind of steam groups with guys with pictures of little <laughs> kids on their fucking thing. I just think this is all weird. But fucking. Don't throw me in with Vosh. Fine. Who's like <laughs> weird and. Is it quite? Is it possible that none of the people I just named are a pedophile? Is it that at it's all? It's just possible? not equally likely that I'm not a pedophile. Okay, as fine. Flamenco you can be is number one on the not a pedophile list. I don't want to be on a list with those guys. <laughs> I'm gonna make a list. Not a pedophile. Okay, you know, you're a pedophile. Current now ranking. I'm going is now I'm anti. No, 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 no. I'm ahead. Just go of throw me on the. Oh, Gary Glitter's a good pedophile. You're ahead of Gary Glitter on the not a pedophile percentage list. How's that? Good. What a show. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy the Fediverse or whatever the fuck. God damn. The Fed stuff is retarded. It's so stupid. Not everybody is a Fed. That Patriot Front group is clearly real. Uh, I'm not getting into it. I'm not getting into well, it. But Baked Alaska is not a Fed, obviously. I don't know who. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. If he's a Fed, it's like very weird that a Fed's out there, like you know, pepper spraying, people and macing being people retarded. for fun and being, yeah, being like intellectually disabled. It's possible he's a uh, he's an asset after the fact, but he's definitely not. Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Say whatever you want about Vito. I <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything. Well, then the answer is no. No, he's not a Fed. I'm a 